Todd, what is going on in the real estate market these days? Well, good morning, everyone. Let's take a look at the banner at the top. Closed inventory sitting at 76 days on market. Month supply is way down, 2.85% for the last week. Absorption rate sitting at 3508. Average list price just keeps ticking higher and higher. It's now at 518,971. Average sale price is at 287,946. Uh, list price to sale price, not the original list price, but the list price at the time the offer was written, the sale price sitting at 97.50. So sellers aren't giving away too much, about 2.5%. Looking at inventory across the board, active inventory, yeah, there it was, Mike. We've been talking about this for two weeks now. Each time I keep telling everybody the pendings are going up and the inventory is going down because we're not listing enough property yet. Psychologically, sellers come into the market sometime usually in April, uh, but right now, in the last two years, historically, uh, that actual summer market has started at the end of February, early March. So everybody needs to get out there and, and talk to people about listing their homes. We need the inventory sitting at 19 thousand nine seventy eight pending over six thousand that was my prediction by the first of july and we're there closed unit sitting up twelve point two percent at six uh, sixty five hundred and forty one um, and that actually is the numbers for the end of february uh, which we're going to talk about today taking uh, new listing information again 2236 although that's up two percent it's just not enough to satisfy the 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 absorption rate at this particular moment 124 active days on market and closed is sitting at 76 days fluctuating somewhere between 70 and 76 depending upon the week um, but we're going to hit click twice and go over to the uh, spreadsheet and take a look we're going to go down the left column which is just really comparing uh, this week march 7th uh, to the prior week um, as you can see just some of the numbers up a little bit there inventory down and, and mike if you click that's because of the absorption rate going from 59 slide dries across i mean this is really a good opportunity we were at 55 67 in january uh, the middle column should say February. We were at 57.11, so we're averaging up another couple of hundred units. Um, and historically, we're at so just over 6,000, which is where we should be uh, heading into March. So let's take a look at uh, February's numbers. I know it says January at the top. Uh, close new listings were at 9,800 for the month, uh, and yet in January, we were at 10,000. So there's a big difference right there of a couple of hundred units. Add that into the mix and you can see why inventory uh, is a little low. Uh, again, we just recently talked about pending and how the pending inventory is, is changing. Take a look at last year, uh, 2016 January versus 2017 January. In January last year, we averaged eight thousand uh, pending units uh, and we're only at uh, 5700 uh, this year so we're in a market that we're supposed to be uh, an expanding market uh, for 2017 it's not just always the stereotypical numbers that show up so uh, I want people to understand that you that that these are anomalies uh, and it has been for a while because it's almost a, 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 a what do they call that a, a glass economy um, it's being manipulated and so as a result we're seeing a lot of anomaly uh, numbers that that normally we wouldn't see uh, but again 6,000 as we sit right now for March those are good numbers so so don't worry we're headed in the right direction um, taking a look at closed inventory for last month we were at 6546 uh, the pre previous month we were at 6031 remember when we get into that uh, real hot summer market that's going to be above seven, maybe even above 8,000 units. That's what we're looking for. Uh, but right now we're 12% ahead of last year, uh, month to date for the month of February, and we're eight and a half percent up for the month to month. Um, looking at the overall numbers, because this is really, you know, if you, if somebody plugs into one webinar, they're going to get the wrong information. And the reason I say that is because it's not what we say today per se. What it is, it's what we said today in relation to what we said last week. And then it's what we reported for the closing of Jan uh, February this month in comparison to the closing of January in 2017. So all these things, you know, you've got to plug in. Once you're plugged in, the numbers will make more sense to you. Um, like right now, this week is at 2.85%. That's below three. That is a hot seller's market if you look at it from that perspective. However, if you slide your eyes across, we're probably three and a half is really more realistic. And that's still a seller's market, but not deep enough into the seller's market that you're seeing abnormal prices because of limited demand, or, or excuse me, limited uh, inventory. You're looking at a 35% 
uh, absorption rate uh, right now this particular week. Uh, but again, we're averaging somewhere between 28 to 30 percent. Looking at average list price, this is where it's really starting to increase. Really some fun. Slide drives to the right. You'll see in January we're at 509. We're at 518 thousand dollars as an average, and it's be and it and it's staying there. So you know, it, usually that means we're you know we could either be listing more expensive homes or we're the, the sale price is creeping up. And I think what we're all feeling right now is that the sale prices are creeping up, and that's a good thing too. Uh, check the West USA dashboard uh, for a couple of things. One, look for the article that we wrote just a couple of days ago that had to do with our, you know, is are we really taking off priceways too fast? Are, are we, some people think that maybe we're headed into another bubble. But if you take a look at the Case Shiller statistics that I posted uh, on the Facebook page, uh, you'll see that uh, we're not. It's stereotypical. It's growing at that 4.8% rate just where we need to be. So do not if the consumers are worried, you know, go to that, read that article. Uh, that'll provide you with some good information. Average sale price, 287. That's going up. Uh, and again, it's much lower because the majority of our inventory is between the $199,000 and $399,000 market. Um, taking a look at the average days on market, you can see that again, sliding your eyes all the way to the right down to 125, the market's heating up, inventory's moving at a faster pace, that's good. Closed inventory, it was in the 80s, now it's averaging in the 70s, and, it, and it's it's solid in the 70s at this particular point. And the final number looking at is that sale price, list price retention. Um, you know, this fluctuates based on really a little bit of supply and demand. Uh, but again, it, it, this is designed for you to say there should be 2.5% laying on the table for your client as a buyer's agent. Uh, as a seller's agent, you know, you've got to be good at not giving up the money that's on the table. Uh, but the average industry is giving up two and a half percent at the time the offer is written. And this has nothing to do with the concessions that are written into the contract. This is just a, a list price to sale price difference. So, Mike, that's the numbers.